morning. Hi, it's Mary from Rocky Mountain Gardens. And today I'm going to be participating in a challenge hosted by the DIY Mommy. It's called the Spring Decor and DIY Challenge. And I am going to be sharing with you a tradition that I learned about in Germany for Easter time. It's called an Easter tree and a little bit different than uh, you've seen some people decorating Christmas trees with Easter dec uh, ornaments and decor and so on. But this is a little different and very pretty. I'm going to be doing it on my dining room table. So I'm going to take you into my table here in just a second and we'll get started on how I put the Easter tree together. I think you'll like it and maybe you'd like to try it sometime yourself in the future. So um, let's go ahead and move on into the dining room. I've placed a blue tablecloth on my dining room table, as you can see here. And I've also added a runner, a table runner on top of the tablecloth. As you can see, it has little tulips and pots here. Very cute for the spring. And I'm going to be using this vase that uh, was made by Kaiser, Kaiser Porcelain in Germany. It has little flowers on it. Very pretty and very inexpensive at the Kaiser factory. I have a bush of greenery. Here are most of my uh, ornaments that I bought while I was in Germany. Most of them are little wooden ones. And I also have these two hand-painted goose eggs that are quite lovely. Um, and then, now traditionally in Germany, at Easter time, you can go to the flower markets or just the general markets in the town market square at every German town and can buy branches of pussy willows. And then they also used, uh, use forced um, flowers on branches that have been cut off bushes, such really common they use forsythia, which you probably know are yellow flowers. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, and although I did use them in Germany, I decided to use these branches with little pink blossoms for my Easter tree, since pink is one of my favorite colors. But it looks similar to um, a branch with forced blooms on it that you would buy at a market in Germany. So I'm going to go ahead and get started putting this together and I'll let you watch as I complete this project. look at how I did this arrangement. Um, the key to it is to spread the branches out and kind of have them uh, cascading over so that you have lots of places to hang ornaments and it has more of a light and airy look 
on the um, uh, arrangement. And that way, uh, as I said, you have plenty of room for your ornaments to hang and also to be able to be seen by everyone, all your pretty ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up my ornaments and then we'll get uh, finished up with this project. And I've also added some other decor on the table to really make it look over the top. I wanted to give you a close-up of my Easter tree. And one tip I would give you when hanging your ornaments is to put heavier ornaments uh, deeper inside on the branches and hang your lighter ornaments uh, out on the edges of the branches. That way they won't pull them down, weight them down too much to uh, change the look of your arrangement. So we'll go around and take a 360 degree look at the arrangement in the ornaments. I'll give you a close up here. I think it just turned out lovely. I think my grandsons are going to enjoy it a lot. They'll really think it's fabulous. But you'll notice that I added candlesticks and I scattered some of these iridescent eggs around on the table runner. I have another cute little bunny there. And coming around here, of course I always use my favorite uh, flameless, well not flameless candles, but um, these, I guess you would call them faux candles here. Love them. They're wonderful, especially in the evening. And these crackle egg eggs that you see, I have three of them on the table. I got those at Kirkland's last year. Um, and I really love them because they light up and they're quite beautiful. And then additionally, I have these darling little uh, salt and pepper shakers that are shaped like uh, watering cans for the garden. Can't wait to use them this spring. Um, so adding more to the whole design really completes the look of the Easter tree. Now, uh, I wanted to let you know, you might have noticed around my house a little bit that things are torn apart. I'm getting ready to film my um, spring and Easter home tour, which will be coming up in a week or so. And I hope you will come back for that because I have lots to share with you. And we'll finish this video with a couple of close-ups uh, and an evening uh, photo also of this design. Thanks so much for coming by. Hope your spring is coming along. The first day of spring has come and we can only hope that we'll stop getting snow here in the mountains. <laughs> so have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video.